What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now we expected this week after D23 to be a lot like the week after San Diego Comic-Con where you get a bunch of reveals over the weekend and then follow up news from the industry insider trades sort of filling in the blanks. This week was no different, but we have to talk about the franchise that was noticeably absent from all the announcements, one that's further along in pre-production than a lot of the films we're already talking about in Deadpool 3 or whatever they'll choose to call this song reboot but in the last 24 hours we've had some major developments one in the pre-production area letting us know what's going on with the film when it's going to start filming and its timetable for release the other coming from one of the actors himself at a comic-con talking about his return in the next Deadpool film which would mark the first X-Men in the MCU and maybe this is why it's so complicated with them figuring out how this film fits in Marvel phases 5 and 6 we're going to break down exactly what's going on with Deadpool 3 Colossus Return Turning, what the actor said about his upcoming role in the new Deadpool film and of course what's going on behind the scenes with the production but first if you could grab the subscribe button we do daily Marvel content at the channel and that's all we do everything from official Easter egg breakdowns trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between so if that sort of things for you hit the sub button leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway which we are going to announce a brand new winner at the end of this video so hit the sub button leave a comment down below that automatically enters you to win stick around to the end of the video for me to announce the next winner for our ps5 giveaway okay so our first update coming from production weekly which is really just a report for people who are trying to find work inside the industry it's not for us scoopsters to go find headlines but hey that's how it works sometimes deadpool 3 which is at least what it's being called in this regard feature film richmond street productions llc so the llc the pre-production part of this has already started which means they're on their way to hiring the crew that's going to go into filming now incidentally and out of synchronicity because while well, the universe is the universe we get an update about their filming in this coming from Colossus himself at a previous Comic-Con over in Wales, which he confirmed Deadpool 3 will be shooting next year. So the fact that the LLC is now out there means it films next year, looking like a 2024 release. And if you think that when they released what they already had for 2024 and 2025, things aren't going to change or that they were omitting projects, you're wrong. There are a ton of gaps, even for 2023, I suspect some things may still change between now and then. So this looks more and more likely for a 2024 2025 release date if they truly are shooting next year and this coming from Colossus now obviously if Stefan Kapacic knows that they're shooting next year it's because he would be a part of the production which he also confirmed that he would be coming back in the role of Colossus for what's being called at least for now Deadpool 3 now in case you missed it it swept across the industry about a month and a half ago we covered it multiple times here at the channel the huge reveal that when Disney had purchased Fox they actually inherited a ton of of contractual obligations with the actors who had played some of the X-Men in Dark Phoenix and towards the end of the run, meaning they couldn't actually use any of these X-Men characters unless they wanted to use the original actors from the Fox universe, which they look like they're super intent on not doing, aside from Professor X Patrick Stewart and Hugh Jackman Wolverine, who we know they reached out to. If Deadpool wanted to use any of those characters, it would mean his co-stars would have to come back in those roles unless, well, for instance, there's not a contract in place which we've talked about that in other videos. We'll speculate on that further, who they're safe to use out of the X-Men gallery. In the meantime, and why this may be so complicated, is if you have Colossus tagging along, and for the reasons I just said, there may not be a lot of X-Men in the MCU between now and when we find ourselves in 2026, unfortunately, after the conclusion of the multiverse saga in Avengers Secret Wars. It seems obvious from the outside looking in, this is a multiverse saga. His whole little group of characters will come over all at once into our multiverse. But what's not apparently obvious and what will have to work is a way for them to find the nuance of working his solo movie into the greater narrative for two films, say like Avengers King Dynasty and Secret Wars, where you expect the tone will be much different than what Deadpool's already offered us. Look, the MCU has been undercutting their serious moments with jokes, attempting to replicate the humor of James Gunn, and I would say rather poorly in a lot of places throughout the last phase. I would prefer that they switch back to a little more self-reverent tone along the lines of what we saw in Winter Soldier, Civil War, Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame, and leave the masterful, self-deprecating, undercutting tones to directors like James Gunn and when it's needed, not just all the time. The problem with Deadpool is that he does exactly that and all the time. He won't allow for any of the nuance of the storyline 
without calling it out. And in that way, I expect there's going to be, well, some growing pains weaving this character into whatever tone they set for the end of the multiverse saga. And this is where I will speculate just a little bit. I know I just offered my opinion and now I'll switch it to my speculation, but for a character like Deadpool, who definitely wants to be a part of Avengers Secret Wars and Avengers King Dynasty, you think about how difficult that may be for them to reconcile the two, and then you hear what might be slight rumors and whispers about there being some frustration between what Ryan Reynolds and his group want to do with the character and what Disney and Marvel, ultimately Kevin Feige, have as a vision for the character. And we know ultimately who's going to get the last word in that case. It just might be difficult for a team who's had such sovereignty with the first two movies to all of a sudden have to fit into this mold. But if you're thinking that behind the scene tensions are the reason that we didn't hear about Deadpool 3 at the last two announcements, that would just be categorically false. Even next year's phase slate is subject to change and is still missing some titles. They're going to be moving things around. I personally don't think there's any way Avengers 5 and 6 comes out in the same year. I think that Avengers 6 is subject to move and probably will. Deadpool 3 still has plenty of space to come out in 2024 or 2025, and if they're moving forward with filming and getting the pre-production together for that, that means that the script is already done or very close to it, going through final edits. That means that they have an idea and a vision for what they're going to do with this character. It's also exciting to know that if we do get Deadpool, and at least his little small ensemble, into the MCU before Avengers Secret Wars, that means we at least get Colossus as part of the group, and as I've been saying here at the channel, I kind of want them to do a bull rush as long as it's not ridiculous, and get as many characters as they can in, and then leave them. They don't need to kill them off before the X-Men show up, so by the time we hit this next saga, it is going to be absolutely mind-blowing, as if it isn't already. But guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. If you're for Stefan Kapacic coming back as uh, Colossus, if you like his Colossus rendition, be very interesting to see if they keep the same CGI. I didn't have a problem with it, um, but I also don't think it's the best Colossus CGI ever. Uh, just my opinion. I actually do like his rendition of the character, though. I am all for it. So if you're wondering my opinion, yes, heck yeah. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff and announce a brand new winner for the PS5. So guys, we are still giving away PS5s. We're going to announce a brand new winner now. The next one will be at a million subscribers, and we've got a huge giveaway coming in between that we'll be announcing next week. If you want to be entered to win for any of the future giveaways, all the same rules always apply. Just hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. Of course, please do not reply to any comments. There are a bunch of WhatsApp spammers all over the platform. Winners are only announced in videos like we're doing right now. So the next winner for the PS5 is Blade Song. For this comment here, I'm ready for some MCU love for Nova Blade. Congratulations. Thanks so much for your support here at the channel. How this works, go ahead and DM me on Instagram at IamFires or email me on my business email. It's under the About section on this channel. I'll go ahead and verify your account and get this shipped right out to you guys. And it's that easy. If you want to be entered for the next PS5 or the next huge giveaway, just be a subscriber and leave a comment down below. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes under the name All Fires. And guys, I know the WhatsApp spammers in the comments saying to DM you, they're all over the place. They're on my channel. They're on all my friends' channels. We've talked about it. YouTube knows they're there. The best thing to do if you see a comment on any channel saying you've won is just go ahead, report that comment, and keep it moving. Uh, hopefully, YouTube's going to address it soon, but who knows with that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.